Okay, folks, so in this quick video, what we're going to do today is uh, just verify the accuracy and uh, efficacy of the boost sensor on our um, digital analog and digital digital series of gauges, so the track series of gauges and the muscle digital series of gauges. So these gauges use a, uh, an electronic sender which um, provides a boost reading to the gauge rather than a mechanical type as in the early muscle series gauges. Um, sometimes you'll uh, experience a fluctuation in the boost um, reading on the gauge um, which can be caused by a number of factors. Um, often the finger is pointed at the sender um, when in fact it could be something such as a vacuum leak, a faulty hose, um, water in the sender, and so on and so forth. So what we recommend doing before um, throwing into panic stations is to do a quick um, check of the sender by using a hand pump. Um, and what you'll need ideally is a hand pump. It can be a bicycle pump. Um, I've got Rob, who's our gauge tech with me today. G'day, mm -hmm. Rob. G'day. And um, what Rob has is a just a, a hand pump here, which has an auxiliary gauge reading on it. So that gauge is going to be able to give us a reading of the pressure as produced by the pump, and we can validate that against the um, boost reading on the gauge. You can see here that Rob's got the sender hooked up. So just imagine that this sender has been um, installed on the engine, but uh, disconnected for the testing purposes. One thing we do recommend um, is that uh, and there's a nice shot of your knee there, Rob. So oh. a bit, a bit of flesh there. Thank you. Um, one thing we do recommend is uh, pre-testing the gauges before you go through the whole rigmarole of installing. It just um, removes any possible doubts or problems that you may have with any of the senders, wiring, and so forth. That way, you can confirm that everything's kosher, good to go before you actually start your install. So in this instance, Rob's hooked up the. Um, we're using a, a Trax. Uh, SG611240, which is our exhaust uh, EGT and boost gauge. So the EGT is the digital readout. We're in Rob's office at the moment, so that's why we've got a static reading on the uh, the EGT probe of 21 degrees. That's probably blinking and flashing because of the, the little LED readout on the video. And the analog part of this gauge is the boost reading. So boost sensor is hooked up. Rob's is going to now produce um, about 10 psi of boost via the hand pump. So there's the 10 PSI reading on the hand so pump there. dial. And we go and we can correlate that to the gauge, which is also reading 10 PSI. So it's gonna start coming down now because we're losing a bit of pressure through the pump. Right, bleeds off. So there's a release valve on the pump, so we can press that. So this, this type of pump can do vacuum and boost. Yep. Um, so we'll put it back onto boost. And then what we can do, we can try and get a little higher if we want to. So Maybe we'll go up to about 15. Yep, so there's 15 on the gauge. We come back to the pump, we're showing 15, and it'll start to bleed off, yes. as Rob mentioned. So we can see that by this simple test that there's, it's not fluctuating, and the sensor is within our specs. Yep. Um, just as an aside, these gauges have a, uh, a warning system which is audible and visual. Um, the factory default on the boost is it's, it's seven, around 17, 17, so, 17. Like, so if we pump this up to 17, or, or pass, there, there, there you go, you can see it's activated. Yep, so we've got our warning there. And that of course can be reset, which we might show you in another video. So this is just a really quick test to show you that in this instance, nothing wrong with the sender. Um, and all you need is a small hand pump, bicycle pump, bicycle anything pump. that's got an auxiliary gauge that you can, yeah, you can benchmark use that as a reference with that. All right, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you again soon with another tech update.